Hey friends, it's Jesse from Shrink RC. Let's do a deep dive on this RC four-wheel drive blazer body that's mounted on an Axial SCX-102. So this body is available pre-painted. I bought it just like this. I didn't paint it. About the only thing I've done to it is take off the back window. Back window on these hinges upwards, which isn't anything like the full scale ones, the window on the full scale one retracts down into the tailgate. So I just take it off. That way it gives me uh, easier access to these two screws here when I want to remove the, the body. I've already taken those two screws out, but those look like this. Normally the this truck attaches with body posts on the on the chassis it comes on. But this, this body, this hard body from RC four wheel drive is available on a leaf spring chassis from RC four wheel drive. But some people want to put it on a linked chassis. And that's what I've done here. This is an Axial SCX-102. Now, what I wanted to show you is every little detail of what I did on this truck. Because every time I show a little bit about what I did, people ask me to go further. So I'm going to try to explain everything I could possibly think of that I've done to this truck and how it's done. So... I talked about the back window that I took off. This front push bar, I got this off of a rust bucket edition RC four wheel drive blazer, but they sell that push bar separately too, and you can just attach it to the to the stock front bumper. I like the SCX-102 chassis for this setup because I can run the battery up here. Normally this little, let's see, let me, this button for the speed controller ought to be Velcroed right there. So that's my on off switch for the speed controller and that's where my uh, battery runs. I run a 2200 milliamp hour battery up there and I don't have to take the, battery, uh, the body on and off to change the battery. That's the captain from Star Trek in there. He's got a Hawaiian shirt from a G.I. Joe. These wheels and tires are from the BFG edition Mojave 2. They're a 1.7 wheel and a 3.75 tire. You can buy them separately. I think it's time for me to take the body off so I can start showing you what I did inside. Let's take the body off. This is a four volt screwdriver. It's not a drill. I like these because they don't turn real fast. I don't put out a ton of torque, and because of the handle shape, it feels sort of like a screwdriver, and you can you can modulate the amount of torque and not not over. It's very easy to over tighten when you're using a drill. And with this, it's easy to not over tighten because you you can feel the pushback on it just like on a regular screwdriver. Pop this off of here. Now, let's look under here. Here you can see where I cut out these holes to clear those shock towers. Some people like to do a cantilever setup. I'm not a fan of cantilevers. Another option, which I think is pretty good, is a lot of people will just go to a real short shock on a real short shock tower that sits under here so they don't have to cut that. I don't mind cutting it. And also what I did here is after I cut that and put those holes there, I put one of our rear bench seats in there. Hopefully that shows up on the on the film. I don't know if it will, but that's one of our rear bench seats and it goes in there and perfectly hides those shock tires. Another thing that I did in here is you can see where I, I cut away in between the seats to clear this uh, transmission. This is the single speed transmission on the 10 I cut this section out of the middle here and I put one of our center consoles and glued it into the area in the middle of that interior and that's what you see the bottom of showing right here and I don't know if that'll show from above but when that's installed it looks something like that I'll try to get it in there see it in there next to the captain I've got some beers in it too or sodas I can't remember now another thing that I probably should have taken this out I brought an extra one so I could show you but our door panels are in here to finish off the interior. Another thing that's in here is our dash lifts. 
the the factory dash on this comes very strangely low like almost down by the floor so we make a little piece that lifts the dash back up into the correct spot and then i have another little piece that extends the steering wheel out a little bit further so that it's in the right position because it's also kind of weird so there's a lot of little parts of ours in here but you don't need all of them to do this the only parts you really need are the are the body mounts and i wanted to show you how the how the body mounts work body mounts are on here stuck to the factory side plates there's only a few of our kits that do that a lot of our kits we we replace this all together but on the blazers for the 10 and the ssd trail king and the element enduro the body mounts attached to the stock side plates the way they attach is there's an eight millimeter screw there and an eight millimeter screw there you take your side plate like this you take the body mount like this just snap that over, oh, snap that over like that. Put your eight millimeter screws in there. And now your body's ready to drop on over and you put these screws into the sides, side holes of the body there. What I want to show you is this side plate. I went and cut the waterproof receiver box off of it because it gets in the way of the driver's seat. And I put my speed controller and my radio there as you can see. You can waterproof this with a balloon or you can get a box for it. This is waterproof anyway. This is WP1080. They now have a uh, second rev of this. It's a little bit better. Got a couple more options. It looks pretty nice. That's a little Hackmoto Yeah Racing $30 brushed motor. Not a very expensive servo. You can get away with a less expensive servo when you have small wheels and tires like this. If you go to a really big wheel and tire, cheap servo won't do it for you. You need like a more expensive one, that $80 to $100 range. But... It's like a $35 servo. Got my ARB diff covers on here. Those are from RC four wheel drive. This, this suspension is basically completely stock. When you buy an Axial SCX 10-2 builder's kit, it comes with three lengths of links in the rear. So you can choose and you can build it as a 12.3 or a, I think it's a 12 or an 11.3. And this is the 11.3 setup, 11.3, 11.4, same thing. Uh, and, and, and it, and it fits perfectly on here like that. Here's the bed mount that goes on there. When you go to do the bed mount, take the screws out that are in the frame and leave this side piece on. Slip this over it, put that 12 millimeter screw in there and tighten it down. Then take and drill a 16 inch hole through this section. Drill it right through the, through the frame, through that cross piece. And then you'll be able to put in the little, the little baby screw that goes in that front hole. So these two last screws go like Go like that. You got the big one in the back, the little one in the front. I don't think there's a heck of a lot else to show you on this. Like I was saying, this is a this is a very stock uh, chassis with wheels and tires on it. It's got the mounts on it, and then it's got the electronics that I picked for it. Other than that, it's a pretty darn stock setup. And this body was was bought painted just like this. So I hope I covered everything. I'm trying to try not to skip anything because I get asked about all this stuff. Look at that. I painted in between the grill here with a black uh, paint pen. So it looks like the grill goes all the way through. A little bit more realistic of a look. That's all there is to tell you about this one. If you've got any more questions, please put them in the comments. Thanks.